vinegar pickled herring fillets are a popular dish in Poland. While disliked by many, it can be found on pretty much every table during family reunions and festive dinners. While they're often accompanied by a shot of vodka, they're also a great supper or breakfast material. A full written recipe with exact ingredient amounts and more information can be found on the blog. In order to pickle the herring fillets, I need several ingredients. Sugar, allspice and bay leaves will flavour the vinegar brine. My father also adds salt and other ingredients are possible too. Black peppercorns, mustard seeds, dill, carrot and so on. The herring fillets are an obvious ingredient. I will also need onions. The brine itself will require water and white distilled vinegar. The herring fillets have been brined in salt in order to extract moisture. They are available in every grocery store in Poland. I have soaked them in plain water, changing it every few hours for a day to remove the excess of salt as well as some of the fish aroma. I start by preparing the brine. I need to boil it, but I also have to give it time to cool down before pouring it over the fish. I start by pouring water into a pot. Vinegar goes in next. Then sugar, allspice, and bay leaves. I turn the heat on and start stirring so that the sugar dissolves before it burns. When the brine reaches the boiling point, I cover the pot and let the liquid simmer gently for a few minutes. The brine is ready. I can now turn the heat off. I'll set the pot aside and wait until the brine cools down to room temperature. In the meantime, I'll prepare the remaining ingredients. First, I peel and slice the onions. There's no correct or incorrect way to do this, but I prefer round slices or onion rings. They're easy to pick up with a fork. Once the onions are done, I proceed to cut the herring fillets. A single fillet tends to be large enough for four bites, so that's the number of pieces I cut it into. I then grab a jar. It has been sterilised via boiling, and so has its lid and gasket. A few slices of onion go on the bottom, Then I place a few herring pieces on top. Onions again and I keep alternating the layers until I run out of ingredients. I like to place a fermentation weight on top to keep everything submerged. It's not really necessary though. When the brine is at room temperature, I can finally pour it over the fish and onions. I use a small sieve to stop the allspice and bay leaves from getting into the jar. I pour the brine so that it covers all of the ingredients. I can't stress enough how crucial it is to use a cooled down brine. If it's hot, the herring will disintegrate. No one likes mushy herring.
finally I close the jar. It will remain on the counter for 24 hours, though many people prefer to place it in the fridge. Here I am, 24 hours later. I've prepared some sourdough bread to go with the herring. I start by getting some pickled onions into my bowl. Then a few pieces of herring. The aroma is pleasant, mostly from the brine. Quite mouth-watering. I place a piece on the bread and check its firmness. I've seen firmer, but this is perfectly fine. The taste is really great, not too vinegary due to a lower than usual acidity of the brine, a little sweet, with the herring subtly coming through. There are no detectable pin bones as they've become completely soft due to the acid in the brine removing calcium from them. The pickled onions add a nice crunch which provides a very pleasant texture contrast. It's really good. The herring is only good to eat for a day or two, maybe a few days more if refrigerated. Afterwards, the vinegar will likely have made the fish too soft to eat. <laughs>